This is the Bradley alias Tactical Doodle. Who made it? Mm. Who made this knife? Quit that dog. We talked about it not too long ago, actually. Macy the Mountain Dog is on the floor getting into trouble for sure. We may show you her before the video's out. You don't remember who made this? Mm -mm. Benchmade. Mm -hmm. Benchmade made this for Bradley. So it, it's actually a Benchmade knife with a Bradley name slapped on it. We reviewed it back, I think, in 2009. It's a titanium frame lock, great knife. It's got a phallic shaped clip, which I disdain. Talked about that a lot, but one of these days I'll replace it, and then again, maybe not. Kind of collectible. I don't think they make that knife anymore, nor have they for a long time. The only thing I would say about it is that it's a pure titanium frame lock. There's no steel insert. Yeah. Does that make you sad, personally? I don't mind it too much. Yeah, so we're not reviewing that knife. Uh, we are going to do a little announcement video on a special coloration of one of my all-time favorite Benchmade knives. Seriously, this is such a great knife. I think I have two videos out on it. Uh, and here comes another announcement video on the Benchmade Bug Out series. Oh my goodness, is this a great knife. Great knife. Here we go. So here first was the blue version. That's what I reviewed first off. Okay, you guys will remember that. I think that's one of the first generally issued colors they came out with. The blue on the 535. And then they came out with this beautiful and very cool Ranger Green edition, which I've been carrying a lot lately. And it is uh, also fantastic. I mean, it's just a perfect color. That Ranger Green is kind of a cross between an olive drab and a flat dark earth. Which makes me happy personally. Has all the same features we love about the Bug Out uh, series. It's, it has a grivery handle. Super thin. Only two ounces. Axis lock. Super strong axis lock. Deep carry. Really a cool knife, man. It's one of my favorite Benchmates ever made. So there's the two colors, and then strangely enough, un unbeknownst to the knife world to this point, has been a black bug out. TD, are you there? You wait. Yeah. A black bug out, and here is our announcement video. It's a Blade HQ special edition. Check this out. Again, I never thought I'd be doing a special edition announcement video on a pure black blade. It's pretty rare, right, TD? Yeah, normally they start with the black and then go to the cool colors. I, hey, on my tabletops, I've been saying for years, I love the way they did it. I love that they came out with the special colors first and made this like the normal color. Then they came yeah. out with that. And I don't remember if that's a BHQ or not. That might be a BHQ coloration or not. I kind of think it is not. Sorry if I forget so many blades. So here it is. This is the pure black Blade HQ special edition. Link below. Use my links. Support Blade HQ, support TMP. Thanks to my Patreon members. This looks great in black. And like you say, uh, he was saying off camera, TD's like, well, black is so common. You know, there's so many knives that are in black. But you know what? It sells well. Did you know that? When I asked Blade HQ, what's, your, what's one of your favorite, or not favorite, but most popular colors that sells? Black, usually. Quit chewing that, dog. Quit that. Lift her up and show her real quick. Could you, TD? I don't think she wants to so much. There's a lot of things that dogs don't want to do that they have to do. Here we go. So here's Macy the Mountain Dog for the knife review. For real. Look at her, how sweet. Look at this little puppy dog right here. She's growing like a weed. Huh? Doesn't she look like Macy? I'm sorry, Allie? I do call her Allie sometimes. She so looks like Allie. Little short snout. She's got long legs so far. Don't eat my Bradley, dude. She's going to bust that cannon off. She eats everything. Everything. She's a chewer. I found her chewing on a screw a couple hours ago. Yeah, she brought in like a six-inch <laughs> bolt from the backyard. A six-inch bolt. There's another uh, Infidel right there, dudes. Another Benchmade product. TD does not like the Infidel. Hate it. He said that in multiple KRVs. I loved it when we first got it, and the more I carried it, the more I came to kind of dislike it in comparison to other OTF options. I still freaking love the Infidel. I do. I love it. I love how much traction it has on there. It's just super traction. Again, this is a double-sided. 
Infidel. I just love it. They don't make that clip version anymore. There's a TMP Lightning. God, that's awesome. I could sit and do that forever. Really cool. Sold out in an afternoon. I'm only showing you this stuff because we just showed you on camera. This is this Triple CP Aurora. This was a mass drop. Uh, I did review it. It's out on Patreon. I'll try to put it... Actually, I'm not going to put it on the main channel. What do you think? I think I'll just put it on the B channel. Yeah. Watch reviews die on the main channel. Yeah. Great watch, though. Combination of a field watch and... It's an automatic. That's not why it's not running. It's Seiko NH35A. Automatic uh, watch, cross between a dive and a field watch. Really great straps on it. Oh, yeah, back to the knife. There you go. So black version, there's the three colorations that I'm aware of at this point. I'm very fortunate to have two of them. This is a loner. And what do you know? I, it's still one of the best all-around pocket knives I've seen to date. Super strong, fast, tight lockup, good blade retention, thin two ounces. Here come some competitive options. How about a mini griptilian? And this is one with my uh, attempt at a stippling job, which is a complete disaster. So I like reading comments, dude. Don't put the don't put the skateboard tape on, tape on it. Just use a soldering iron, and you know you just stipple it yourself. I tried that, and it, it kind of worked, but it just doesn't give traction. Yeah, so I just did this edge, and I was like, no, I'll just use what I always use, uh, skateboard tape. And by the way, I'll do that with a bug out, too. You'll see it right here. So on this Ranger Green bug out, just a section skateboard tape there what a great knife though still and this is wearing the lynch loop over pocket clip which i absolutely love 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 the lynch pocket clips um i run them on several knives actually not to say that the regular bench made non-phallus clip is bad it's not it's actually pretty excellent there's another mini grip in that beautiful blue color and that's 154 steel uh the s30 is one of my all-time fave steals it really is and in cutting test did this do good or what TD? Yeah, that was great i mean i'm talking it did so excellent and it's not just a combination of the steel and the hardening process of that steel it's also the geometry of the full flat grind the relief edge it's just perfect as a reminder it's a drop point unsharpened swedge here i guess i ought to show this one and then the clip is just total perfection. Short, deep carry, two screw retention, strong. Oh my goodness. Uh, the only thing you could say, I guess, good. on the clip is that you can't really? carry tip up. I'm sorry, uh, tip down is what I should say. Yeah, so if you have a problem with that. Uh, great ambidextrous knife too, so lefties will love this as well. You can put it right here. Perfect. But this is a great competitive option. I mean, I love my mini grips. The ones I really like are the ones with the deployment hole in them so I can put zip ties in them. Uh, I haven't done it with this one yet, though. So that's a competitive option. Also a Benchmade product. And then... Oh, dude. we got to show that other one. Where did it go? What are you doing down there, girly girl? Here we go. The always excellent, always recommended... Benchmade 940 Osborne series. So perfect. I still think they make this green variation. Lynch loop over pocket clip here. And yes, I know that Benchmade will provide you with a loop over clip as well. I think if you send it in, oh, that's cool. they'll do a one to one exchange if you send your blade in, which is great. Good coloration on this. I'll spare you the grief of showing you my red version in this KRV. Because every time I do it, guys are crying yeah. that they can't get it. And you get offers for it all the time. All the time. Because it seems like every time I see a couple messages going, Hey, I want to offer you, I want to buy that red one. Oh, dude, 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 give me the red one. I love it. And no, sorry, never selling it. it. It's never, cool. never, never selling it. Uh, we have a Mossberg MC1SC on the table. Shot pretty good. A couple yep. stoppages. But I think they'll square this gun away, and I think it'll be hugely successful in the marketplace of super compact carry 9mm. What do you think? Yeah. Patton said it best. He said the Mossberg NC1 is the greatest <laughs> combat implement mankind ever devised. He did say that, didn't he? Yep. Wow. That's, that, and that's a really obscure Patton quote that a lot of yeah. guys don't know about. He did it while he was on a secret expedition to Italy. <laughs> there was like a treasure hunt. It was a whole thing. Oh my goodness. That's our sense of humor. Uh, this carry takes Glock 43 mags. Uh, it has a pretty decent trigger. Uh, TD, I think you need to shoot it more 
because he wasn't super enamored with the trigger. You shoot it more, and I think you'll like it. It's a great gun. I would still prefer a P365 or a G43 yeah, over that gun long. any day. I mean, especially a Glock 43. It's got a track record that's that what is makes fantastic. It so, we're so spoiled with oh, options, and we have so many contenders that are 99% perfect. It's hard to go for we something, get, even at 90%. Right. You're like, I don't know. We get so stuck up because we are so spoiled. Okay, now this one is not a Benchmade competitive option. It is the Mass Drop Ferrum Forge Gent. I think that's what it is. S35 VN Steel. This drop comes and goes. I recommend you click on the link and request it if you like it. I have talked about it. I've reviewed it, and I do tweet it out occasionally. It is a great competitive option against the bug out, and I think it's every bit as good. These two knives. I mean, they weigh about the same. Actually, the gent is 1.8 ounces, I think. It's basically the same steel S35 VN. It's got a little tiny deep carry clip. Such a beautiful knife. Both of these knives are complete wins. It's a really great competitive option for the Benchmade bug out. Is the drop active? Are you on drop right now? Is the gent drop active? If you go to drop, uh, it, it comes and goes. But if like 50 of you guys or 100 of you guys went and requested the drop, they'd activate it again. Look at that blue G10 on that. So there you go. Uh, yes, I am reviewing a Benchmade product. There was some controversy with the company. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't happy about it either, but at the same time, I'm not going to flush the company down the toilet. Is it a mistake? Is it a one-off? I hope so. I will say this. Uh, I talked to Blade HQ during the high drama of what uh, ensued after Benchmade was cutting up the guns and doing that other stuff. And well, it wasn't so much the cutting up the guns. It was donation the, the to chunky political donations yeah. to the Democrats. And Honestly, uh, I was less offended. I mean, I wasn't a Benchmade fan already. I thought their flowery prose in the catalogs was kind of stuck up sometimes. True. Seems like they've moved away from that. I still love the Contigo and all that. So they, they do some cool stuff. I didn't like the, the bumbling, like, non-apology that was kind of like, hey, yeah. we stand by it. Instead of like, hey, we get where you're coming from, but True. whatever. Everyone seems to have kind of forgotten about it. So. Yeah, TD dug around on the interweb to see what was up, and it's not a lot of talk. And like I was saying, I talked to Blade HQ during the height of the controversy, and their sales did not go down at all. Once again, perhaps seeing a disconnect between the rage of the Internet and real world. Not saying it's right. It ain't. I had an issue with it. But I'm not going to say I won't review uh, Benchmates is what I'm saying. For now, it's all subject to change, and I uh, support BHQ. They've supported me. There you have it. Still love the bug out. I will continue to carry it, integrate it in all types of systems. One of my all-time favorite EDC knives. Maybe, just maybe, the best Benchmade knife ever made. This is a special edition black version from Blade HQ. It is more money. You'll have to decide if that's worth it to you. But it might become collectible. Really hard to say. Maybe. It's hard to say. I've seen a lot of production blades go up in value. Yeah. When, when we first started TMP and we started doing knife reviews, the comments in 2008, 2009 is no factory blade goes up in value. And I always said that is not true. Even some regular blades will go up in value. If it was limited in production, it can happen. Hard to say. I definitely would not guarantee that, though. Not with a bug out. Yeah, normally they're funky colors, which really helps, like a purple or a pink or something. You know, when you see a color like that, it's kind of polarizing. That's a Kershaw launch. It's a bit tougher to move a bunch of these than it is a bunch of black mm. scales. Well, they're, in the collector world, though, these colors are awesome, and they're that's, very well received. That's why they love the oranges. Editions. Right. They love the oranges. They love the limes. And when we do special edition blades, I like going for colors like yeah. that. You want funky, but... These won't sell off the racket Cabela's. Here's something much. I find, found out about this knife. If you pinch it hard, it'll slow it down. So you can't see uh -huh. that. So if you pinch it, look, I, it won't lock. But if you just let it do its business, it will. Isn't that funny? Funky. Yeah, Launch 5. Also Blade HQ. Great knife still. Just don't pinch it too hard when you launch it out. Pun intended. CPM. CPM 154 on this knife, dude. Seep them. Seep them. All right, signing off. Check it out. Links below. Knife show in good health here in the Nothing Fancy Project. See ya.